Hi folks, John in Thailand. I uh, got back from Bangkok late yesterday afternoon and I, I started uh, transplanting my Moringa seedlings, I suppose you could call them, into, uh, into little grow bags. Uh, that's the sort of bag it is. It is, mm, I think from memory, uh, a polyester, but it's like a mesh. So when the when the bag goes in the ground, the roots can just burst through it, and uh, it'll rot away eventually. What I do is I uh, I have some local local mulch, which I use in the bottom of the bag. So that's that's about as much local mulch as I use. Then I top the bag up with imported mulch which is supposed to be worm castings it's I guess it is worm castings um, but where it come from where the worms were I'm not too sure about you know what made me wonder was uh, we had we had mushrooms growing in it at one stage um, could it have possibly come from a, a mushroom farm or some of it, not all of it, maybe, but some of it. Good question. But here I am this morning. I've already done a few, two. <laughs> uh, I've got some more, and I've got a few problems. Yellowing. What is the problem? Is it too much water? Mm, maybe not. Maybe. Uh, lack of nutrients in the soil well I don't know this this potting mix is supposed to be you know this uh, mix is supposed to be the best cost me enough uh, but then on the other hand I look at these other ones which have been in the same tray and we've got yellowing up there uh, but some of them are some of them are quite good in the middle I don't know whether it's uh, they're drying out around the roots, and they've got good little root systems, considering how old they are. They? Um, nine, ten days old now. Man, I know they chopped off the roots on one, because I had put the spoon in, and uh, didn't go down far enough. The spoon's not the right shape for these holes, unfortunately. See, I'll dig out a bit more. Um, I need a different spoon, or, or get this one on the grinder and reshape it. So what I did, uh, I went around with a knife, and uh, loosened up the soil against the plastic then put the spoon in carefully and it's uh, it's been working like that but I've got another mm, over there uh, there's a little uh, greyish blue colored uh, box the same as this one with 11 in it they were the ones I did last night but I'm still really really happy about my moringa our mother tree around the front has lots and lots of flowers lots and lots of flowers so we're going to be in for a good year we're having um, maybe you know like okay I'm going to allow a couple to you know, die maybe I'm not going to have 100% success with the ones I got here but it's just not going to be a problem they grow so quickly by the by uh, what people say uh, I should be able to I should be able to uh, get some more on the ground and, you know, as long as I keep watering them up in uh, the country where they're going, they should be all right. Uh, we're going into the dry season in a couple of months. It's actually dry now. Uh, it's called the cool season, and it is. Um, we've had it down to about three degrees here. That's C, not F. Three degrees C. And, uh, yeah, I, I've been out there with an overcoat on, a tracksuit pants, tracksuit top, T-shirt, singlet, and a beanie. <laughs> yeah, this is Thailand. Not only is the food extreme sometimes, so is the weather. Well, anyway, folks, I've got to get back to work. Uh, won't get done unless I do it. So, everyone have a good day, and uh, I'll catch up with you again. Bye now.